What's going on YouTube? My name is Genes, bringing you guys more ranked single battles for Pokemon Sword and Shield. You guys know the deal. If you want to catch more Pokemon content from me, show some support on this video by smashing that like button, clicking that subscribe button, and let me know in the comment section down below. Seriously, the support has been crazy. I cannot thank you guys enough. So guys, in today's video, we are rocking out with this single team right here sent in by one of you guys. My boy Giant sent this one in. Giant, thank you so much for sending in the team. If you guys want me to play one of your guys' teams, leave your monthly codes in the comment section down below. Make it easy for me. Tell me if it's a single or doubles team leave me a list of the pokemon and if you have an ev spread send that in as well so giant sent this team in here saying it's either a doubles or a single team whatever you really want it to be it's kind of like a versatile team right here but he wanted me to use it as a single team as he thinks singles it works a little bit better in but rocking in this front spot we have this noivern right here with infiltrator focus sash as its item with draco meteor boom burst tailwind and air cutter now i can see why it could be a double team because it's rocking that tailwind with this noivern but noivern such a good pokemon i love him so much then we got this rotom rocking levitate and that terrain extender right there with dark pulse thunder wave for the paralyzers bolt switch and hydra pump then we got my boy grimstar and i absolutely love this move set on him with prankster for first move priorities with status moves and all that and that light clay for his screens he's rocking light screen reflect spirit break and fake out so those light screens and reflect with that light clay will actually boost to eight turns instead of five then we have this life orb extra drill right here with mold breaker as his ability with fisher and fisher is an amazing move it's a one hit ko move so we're gonna be trying to pull off some fishers here and get that rolling then we got rapid spin to take out sticky web spikes and all that stealth rocks which is a beautiful move for him eq for damage and stab with stealth rocks in case we want to set up some rocks then we got my boy toxtricity toxtricity is a awesome pokemon with that third spray the boost is special attack with sound based moves with overdrive boom burst volt switch to swap out and sludge wave for a stab move then we got this weakness policy angie slash who is a beast weakness policy angie slash is wonderful in this meta right now with sacred sword shadow sneak for a first move priority shadow ball for stat and king shield because you have to rock out with king shield with every single angie slash but guys if you like to use this team not the code is at the bottom of the screen definitely check it out let me and giant know how you do in the comment section down below it would be awesome also guys let me know for question of the day what is your favorite non-mainline pokemon game for me i really love the old pokemon mystery dungeons definitely one of my favorites but i want to hear your guys' feedback let me know if you like maybe like pokemon rumble there's so many uh pokemon ranger you got the pokemon snap from nintendo 64 like seriously you got a ton of options so let me know in the comment section down below well, without further ado let's get rocking in with this team Okay, so this guy's rocking out with a Mimikyu, Arcanine, Rotom, Wash, Duraludon, Dragon Ball, and a Tita. I really like how his team looks. His team looks pretty, pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. Um, I'm going to have to bring in that Mold Breaker Exedril. He's a big physical attacker for our team, and he does a decent amount of work here, especially with that Mold Breaker. Do I lead him? Do I lead the boy? I don't think we lead him. I think we save him for the back end. I really do think we save him for that back end. Who are we going to lead? Are we going to lead our boy Grim? We're going to lead the Grim. We can lead the Grim, try to set up some screens. Hmm. I can see him potentially leading that the route on. Did we just say nah? Did we just go straight into here? Potentially land some secret swords. I think that is what we're gonna do. And then do we bring the snarl in the back? I think the snarl can do some work. I think the snarl can do some work, especially up against that dragapult. Hmm. <laughs> and that T-Tart does a decent amount. We're gonna go in here and try to set up some screens and all that good stuff. It has to be a what's called. It has to be a weakness policy T-Tar. Like I see that going, and I see him leading probably that the route on. He's probably thinking I'm leaning that snarl of the Grimms, but that's not happening. But guys, if you want to catch more content from me, head in the link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. We stream four plus days every single week. It is tons of fun and lots of hype. Definitely come out. Come hang out with me. I'd love to see you guys there. But let's go. Who's he rocking into? Is it, did I make the right call? Oh, he goes into the tar. Goes to the tar. Our English slash is going to pop out here. I really don't want to trigger his weakness possibly. Like, I know he's weakness possibly. That's the thing. I really don't want to trigger it. I really don't want to trigger it. Um, he's probably going for a ground move. He is probably going for a ground move here. I have a lot of moves that are super effective against him. <laughs> I kind of want to fish him out. That's kind of what my play is, but I am going to go for that secret sword here. I am going to go for the secret sword. I do not want to Dynamax. He's probably, no, he's not going to Dynamax. He's going to protect, protect here. Pretty smart, pretty smart. We maybe should have went into our drill, our drill guy. Now we are going to protect. He's just going to start chipping away with this sand damage here. What if we had our infiltrator, boy? Our infiltrate. What's it called? Our infiltrate. What's that Pokemon called? I can't think of it. Noivern. That's what it is. Okay. We're going to go in back into our defensive stance with this. The Sandstorm not hit us? The Sandstorm not hit us? He's going to Dynamax because he wants us to trigger that weakness policy. We're going to start wasting out his Dynamax turns. We're wasting them, buddy. We're going to waste your Dynamax turns here. You don't want none of this. You don't want none of this. 
We're going into a king shield, buddy. We're going into our king shield here. What you want, fool? What you want? <laughs> Am I going to go into a max quake here? That's what I think he's going to go into. A little quake action. A little bit of quake action. I'm just going to take my little king shield action. Try to neglect some of this damage here, which would be awesome. Which would be awesome. Is he going into that quake? Try and lower our special defense. He's going to go for a max darkness. Early on here. Eat that up. Beautiful. I love you. I love you. Inky Slash. Beautiful. So, we know he's going for probably another Max Darkness. Our special defense is going to fall, and our weakness policy is going to be triggered here. Hmm. Hmm. We see this eaten. This is tough. This is tough. I want to go into a Secret Sword. I really do. Hmm. If he goes for that Max Darkness. Oh! This is scary. This is scary. I'm going to go straight for a Secret Sword here. Especially with a weakness policy. Is he going to take us out here? Come on. I need you eat. Our special defense is down, but he's a physical attacker. Eat it, buddy. I don't think he's going to eat it. I think we're just going to take this one to the dumpster. Yep. We're going to take this one out. That's tough. That's tough. We're just trying to, like, waste his turns out here. We are just trying to waste his turns out here. I'm going to go. <laughs> we're going to set up this reflect. We are going to set up the reflect right here, right now. We're not, I don't want to trigger his weakness policy just yet. I want to wait and get in my other Pokemon. We're going to set up these screens right here. Get this Reflect off. He's probably going to go for it. Yet another Max Darkness here. Let's see. Because isn't Max Darkness super effective to us? Because we are Dark and Fairy. Because uh, I know Fairy is super effective to us. But the Reflect, the reflect does come out. Love to see it. I think our Extra Drill can definitely sweep here with his Life Orb. It's beautiful. Max Rockfall is going to come out here. How are we going to be doing here? We are chill. We are chilling. Lovely. That's lovely. Okay, so his Dynamax is gone. We are going to set up the light screen now. We are going to set up this light screen. Actually, I think I'm going to get a, a free hit here. I think I'm going to get a free hit here before we go out. I'm going to go with the Spirit Break because he's not going to take us out next hit. And I know we can prankster the next one. I know we can prankster the next one. Let's see. Let's go, Snarl. Let's go, Snarl. We're going to hit this little boy up. We'll tap this boy up. Come on. We are Mold Breaker. He's going to withdraw. He's, he's going to withdraw. He's going into, buddy. The Duraludon. Okay, we take those. We take those. We'll get our light screen up after this. Yeah, we'll get our spirit break off on him. Yeah, yeah. Take that, buddy. Take it. Take it. Eat it. <laughs> drop it. Yes, okay. We're going to drop his special attack, which is beautiful. And then the light screen is going to pop here. We are going to pop our light screen because we know that that what's called is going to come out. We know that that, uh, that iron head or iron tail is going to pop out here. But the light screen comes out here with that light clay. We got eight turns of that. We got eight turns of that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. He's going to go into that flash cannon. Can we eat? I don't think we're going to eat this, dude. The Rallodon's an absolute unit. Bye-bye, the Rallodon. We're not that Rallodon. Grimstar. <laughs> but, oh, we get to crit this lucky little biscuit. We got this lucky biscuit over here. We're going to go into our boy right here. We're going to go into our extra duel. And we are Mold Breaker, so I'm going straight into a Max Quake. It does work all around. All around the board. All around the board. Okay, right, let's go. Mold Breaker comes out here. What what third Pokemon do I think he's rocking out with? Maybe that Rotom. Maybe the Mimikyu. We are Mold Breaker. Do you love to see it? We're going to go straight into a Max Quake. Straight into a Max Quake. You give me no reason not to. No reason not to. We are Life Orb too, so I think our Extra Drill can be chilling here. I really do think he can be chilling here. He might swap out into his T-Tar, which I'd be fine with. I believe we outspeed that thing all day. Actually, we might not because this thing's EV spread is it's like uh, Max Attack, half into its speed, and half into its defensive uh, stats. I still think we're fine. I still think we are fine. We are super effective against this, the T-Tar, and possibly the third Pokemon he brings out. Like, if it's the Arcanine, we do work on it. If it's the Mimikyu, we hit the his Skies. If it's the Rotom, we hit the his Levitate. Dragapult, we should be able to do some work up against them. I think we're chilling. I really do think we're chilling here. These Max Quakes are coming out. It's coming out. I would have loved to set up a Sword Stance beforehand, but this, this set is not running Sword Stance. It's fine. This Max Quake's going to pop here. How much damage are we going to do? Oh, dude, Excadrill, you are the best, man. That's why Excadrill is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, dude. He's just so good and competitive. He is just so good. I love him. I always loved his design, like, before I even started competitive and all that. It's just awesome. He's just an awesome Pokemon. He's just an awesome Pokemon. But we did wait out those turns from that T-Tar. But I like it. Here comes the Mimikyu. Okay, we are Mold Breaked. We are Mold Breaked. Dude. That's why we're going into another stab next week. We're going to lower special defense. We're coming for you, buddy. We are coming for you. What are you going to do? He's gonna go for a Shadow Sneak. We eat those up all day. We still have the screens up. And then he's gonna lose some of his HP. He's just trying to waste out some of my Dynamax turns. Can we take him out one hit? I think it's Life Orb. Can we take him out one hit? I would love. Oh! <laughs> Yo, let's go! Let's go. <clears throat> we are sitting great here. We are sitting really good. Our special defense is raising, but it doesn't really matter up against this uh, T Tar. We're gonna trigger his weakness policy. He's gonna. He's trying to take us out one hit. That's his plan. 
That is his plan. Oh my god, this is coming down to the wire. Can we just dumpster him? Can we just take him out one hit? I don't know if I should uh, trigger the weakness policy. I think we are. I think we are. I think a max quake can do some work. And think, I was thinking about maybe just triggering that weakness policy and potentially going into a Fisher. He's going to protect. We're going to hit through. That was a smart play. That was a smart play. He's going to neglect some of that damage here and trigger that weakness policy, which was very, very smart. Very, very smart. He's going to trigger his weakness policy, but I think we're taking him out one hit. I think we outspeed and we take him out one hit. That's what I think. Let's see. Is he weakness policy? He's got to be. He's got to be. He is not weakness policy. Okay. He is not weakness policy, Titar. Okay. We can, we're just going for the EQ. I was like, dude, did we go for this Fisher? Did we show it off? Did we potentially land it? We do outspeed. Can this take? It does. Let's go. Let's go. Extra drill comes up big. We actually played that one very smart. I seriously thought that T-Tar was... I thought it was weakness policy, but we were able to wait out his Dynamax turns with our Angie Slash, get the screens up with the Grimstone, and just run it with the Extra Drill. I think we already lost the second battle. This guy has a Mr. Rhyme. The OG... Pimp dog over here, Mr. Rhyme. I think we already lost. Like, he just has Mr. Rhyme, and he's just Mr. Rhyme, so we have to let him win. That's the rules. He's OG pimp guy. You gotta let him win. <laughs> this guy's rocking Surf Fetch, Mr. Rhyme, the Silvali, the Silvali, Sylveon, Lantern, Token Kiss, and that character. I gotta bring my Toxicity in here. Toxicity can do some work. I don't really have any grass Pokemans. I don't really have any grass Pokemans. So, the Lantern's gonna be a little tough. He's gonna be a little tough. Not gonna lie. We're gonna go with our. Do we go with our Noibrin? I see him leading that lantern. I can see him leading that lantern. Kinda scared, kind of not. A little bit of half and half action for me. Or do I lead my boy? I can totally lead my boy here. I'm gonna lead my toxicity. Do I lead the snarl? I can lead the snarl. We are gonna lead the snarl. We're gonna snarl toxicity. We go mm, drill. I think we gotta bring that drill again. I really do think we have to bring that drill again. Right? Is that the play call? Bring the drill. Let me look at his Pokemon one more time. We have Mole Break. I mean, he has two flying types. And without that, no, okay. Drill, get out of here, buddy. Uh, do we get Noivern or Slashing? We're gonna go Slashing. We're gonna go Slashing. We're gonna call it at that. I really wanted to bring my Extra Drill, maybe pull off a Fisher, but they have two flying types. They have two flying types. We're not gonna be able to do anything against that because we have two, what's it called? We have two. Or one. We have, no, two ground moves. We have two ground moves that will not affect him at all. And, I, and there are two Pokemon who I really see him bring. That's the thing. We lead the Snarl, and he goes to the Lantern. And he goes into the Lantern. We are going to set up a little bit of Light Screen action after we give him a little Fake Out action. After we give him a little bit of Fake Out ski. We're going to give him a little, give him a quick little clap skis. Give it to him, baby. Dude, Grimstar is so cool. His hands are cool, too. They, like, spread out. It's like, yeah. There we go. Fake Out does a little bit of damage. And what was that? Okay, it's leftovers. So I was like, oh, how, did we trigger weakness policy? Every time I see that, I'm like, oh, what do we do? <laughs> but we're going to set up this light screen here. I see him going for potentially a bolt switch. I can totally see him maybe going for a bolt switch, but we're going to set up the screens with the clay, the light clay. And here comes a T-bolt out here. Mwah, we will eat that, no problem. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Let right, me soak that up. He's going to go back to full health here. And we are going to set up a... Let me see his team. Let me see his team. Okay, he is a surface, so it's kind of scary. And that guy is, we gotta set up this reflect, baby. The reflect's gotta come in here. You gonna go for another T-Bolt? That's fine. If he goes for another T-Bolt, that's, that's why I wish we had the drill. You gonna go for a soak. You little biscuit. You are going to soak us up. Okay, we are now water type. We are gonna go switch out into our angry slash. Let me switch out to our boy. I really don't wanna switch out to our boy. I wanna switch to our angry slash. I'm on slashing. We want to get slashing, baby. Grimstar, get back here, you little booger. Angie Slash is going to pop here. It's fine by me. Yes, sir, Angie Slash. He's going to withdraw. We're going to have a double withdrawal problem. We're going to have a double withdrawal. There's no way you read me going into my Angie Slash. Goes into her Sir Fetch. He goes into the Fetch of the Sir. And, uh... Do I King Shield here? Hmm. No, because I can see this thing potentially set up Sword Stance. We're going to drop a Special Defense. We're going to drop a special defense here. We're coming for you, Surfetch. He's going to give us the max. He is going to give us that max. Um, ba -ba 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 I still have my Tox in the back. I still have my Tox in the back. We are going to go for the Shadow Ball. I really don't want to waste my Dynamax on the Angie Slash. 
right now. Is he gonna take us out? We have the screen set up. Maybe we should have went for the max. And have this thing trigger our weakness policy. Dude, what are you gonna do, buddy? You're looking for the knuckle, the flying knuckle in the air. Yay! That just reminds me of what's it called. That legit reminds me of Mario. Uh, Mario Odyssey. What is it? The second boss in the Sand Kingdom? The Sand Kingdom boss with the big knuckles that fly at you? That's exactly what it reminds me of. But we are going to trigger our weakness policy. We should be able to do some decent amount of damage here. We should be able to do a decent amount of damage here. We'll go back into a King Shield after this. Just start wasting out these turns. Then I lower that. Lower that stat, buddy. No, we do not. All right, let's go into this King Shield here. We're just going to waste this Dynamax turns out. It's pretty simple. Pretty simple. Waste out these Dynamax turns. We should be able to eat this one up. He's just boosting his attack. That is exactly what he's doing. King Shield comes out here. He's going to go for another Max Knuckle to boost his attack once again. Let's see. Is that what he's going to do? He's going to go for another Max Knuckle. That's fine by me. Did we go into a Sneak here? Because he is going to outspeed us here. Okay, we survived that. We have to go into a Sneak. We have to go into a Sneak. And we're going to waste all three of his turns. He gets a crit. No wonder why it did so much damage. I was wondering. I was wondering. I was like, why? Why is it so much damage? And we're going to have to go into a Sneak here. We're going to have to go into a Sneak. So he does it, so we get damage off before we go out. That's the plan. We got a little Duck Bill over here, guy. He's, dude, Servetch is awesome. I just love his design. Little duck. <laughs> Little duck with like a celery stick sword, a leek sword. Do some nice damage. Do some na nice damage, but this attack's gonna be through the roof here. Um, what is the call here? That is the real question. That is the real question. We're going with that snarl. We're going with that snarl. He might be rocking Iron Man. That's the, that's the problem. Uh, let me check out some summaries here. Let me check out some summaries. Oh. Okay, dude, I think Snarl's gonna come out here. We got Prankster, and we got Spirit Break. If we can land a Spirit Break, ooh, could be so good. Do I max him? That's the question. Do I max him? He's a water type. I can see potentially swapping out. Oh, no, I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared. This thing's plus three on that attack board. We still have a Reflect Up, right? Let's check our info. Check our info. We, yeah, we do still have a Reflect Up. Oh, this, is, this is scary, buddy. Um, let's see it. And this only works for the, the first turn each time the user enters the battle. The user? I'm using it. Right? I can go for a fake out. I could, but I'm going to go for the Spirit Break. I really am. I really am going to go for the Spirit Break. The Faint's going to pop out here. Grim? I love you, Grim. <laughs> Good job, Grim Snarl. Take out this boy. Take him out. Grim Snarl, you're the best. You're the best! I love you, Grim Snarl. Grim Snarl takes out this Surf Edge. Um, are we still water type? That's the real question. That is the real question. Kind of tough. It's kind of tough. Are we still a water type? The lantern. Oh, the Sylveon pops out here. Um, I really don't want to swap here. I really don't want to swap. I'm just gonna go straight into this. I really am. We still have our Dynamax. Hyper Voice gonna pop out. He's, he's gonna trigger his uh, what's it called? He is going to trigger his uh, third spray. Is he rocking it? He's not rocking third spray. We're gonna give him a little Spirit Break. Try lower special attack. Show it to me. Lower it. Love you, Snarl. I love you. <laughs> light screen wears off. We're going to set this up before we actually go out. Another light screen. Get that eight turns going. Let's go, Snarl. We got this one. We got this one, buddy. We still have our Dynamax Toxicity. That is who we're going to Dynamax. I love when he Dynamaxes. He plays like the guitar on his stomach, which is dope. That's going to take us out. That is going to take us out, and we are going to hit this Dynamax here. Do we Dynamax or do we boost first? That's the question. Do we boost first? Do we boost our special attack? I don't even know if we should trigger the third spray. That's the real question. We trigger the spray. I say we do trigger the spray. We can't go for an overdrive, or I'm just gonna go with this. A boom burst. I am just gonna go with this boom burst. Trigger our third spray, and then we're gonna Dynamax. The tech's gonna come out here. And what do you. Oh, you're gonna protect yourself. This, can that still boost us? He's gonna detect. That's fine. Alright, let's go. Another boom burst here. Another boom burst. I'll do the same thing. I'll do it again. Don't mind if I do. Run into our normal move. We know who you're rocking out. We do outspeed, which is beautiful. Take him out. Let's not take him out, but the throat spray comes out here. This is lovely, which is just dandy. Now we can Dynamax. Let me eat. We gotta... Yeah, we're gonna eat this mystical fire up. No problem. Give me that. Mwah. I'll soak that up all day! I'll soak that up all day, and you know exactly what we're going into. You're gonna drop our special attack? That's fine. We're gonna go Dynamax into Max Ooze and boost our special attack right back up to where we want it. <laughs> Let's go, Toxtricity. A smart play for him to go into that mystical fire actually try to lower our special attack before he gets that lantern in he's probably gonna go for a soak into a what's it called probably gonna go for a soak into a t-bolt but i see us outspeeding i really do see us outspeeding that thing but he has to get us with that soak. okay we're gonna play the guitar on our stomach we're looking awesome 
Come on. We got this game. He's going to go for the protect again. That's fine. I think we could... If, still, if we don't take this thing out, we will boost our attack twice. Yeah, that's fine by me, but I still see us taking this out here. See, we do not... That's fine. Again, that's fine by me. That's fine by me. I'll boost my special attack once again. I will boost it again. That is the plan. <laughs> let's go. Let's get this ooze out. This thing could be rocking quick attack to do a little bit of damage before we go out. There it is. Like I said, quick attack comes out. Does like 10 damage. And I'm fine by it. It's not very effective. We're going to boost our special attack once again. And what? Are, this should be at plus 2 now. So we can potentially one tap this thing. We gotta hope we outspeed and this thing's out focus sash. Right? Or did we already we faked it out already, right? We faked it out in the beginning with the Grimstar also. Cannot be focus sash. We're chilling. We're chilling. Let's go! <laughs> I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good. Okay, we still have this max strike. If nothing else works out. The uh, max ooze. Oh, everything's just effective. We go in the stab. Oh, I wanna go in the stab. We gotta go into a stab move. I think stab max light needs to play call. Maybe we just play it safe. We're gonna go stab Max Lightning. Give it to him. We're coming for you, buddy. We're coming for you, Lantern. What are you gonna go for? The Lantern's going to protect. That's fine by me. We're gonna set up this little electric terrain. Should still be able to outspeed. Bolt Absorb. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, Boom Burst is gonna come out here. Still special attacking. Bolt Absorb. Mm. This thing could have got a free soak on us. That would have been huge for us. But Boom Burst is gonna pop out now. Boom Burst. This thing got more health. I thought we faked it out. Did we fake it out? I'm not even sure anymore. <laughs> He's at full health. We do outspeed, which is beautiful. We should be chilling fine. Boom Burst comes out here. Does that one tapping? It is one tapping. Let's get it. That is the game. There we go. 2-0 with this team. We're going to hop into another battle here. We're going to hop into our third and final battle. Try to go 3-0 with it. But my training card's better than this guy's. You guys know, know that. Not gonna lie, this guy's team is awesome looking just because of that Malmar. I think Malmar is such a cool Pokemon, and I love how you have to flip your console upside down in order for him to evolve. Good touch, Nintendo. I really do like that. <laughs> this guy's rocking the Malmar. Gastrodon, Rotom Pizza Oven. You guys know Pizza Oven's cool looking guy. Gyarados, the Mimikyu, and that Corviknight. I'm gonna bring in my Extra Drill with that Mold Breaker. I'm gonna bring in that Extra Drill with that Mold Breaker. I don't want to bring in my Rotom because he's probably uh, Storm Drained here. He's probably Storm Drained. I am gonna bring in my Toxic... My Toxtricity right here, my little Toxic Buddy. Then front spot, there we go, Noivern. Here we go with the Noivern. The Noivern could be pretty, pretty solid. Could be solid, not gonna lie. Not even gonna lie here. Um, hmm, hmm, what shall I do? What shall I do? Let's go. Noivern in that front spot. Extra in the back end, and Toxtric Toxtricity in this back end. Let me take one last peek at this team. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. We have that mold breaker. We have that fisher too. I would love to land a fisher. That is my plan. That's my plan. I want to land a fisher in this game. Get it off and just boop. I would count it as a win. That's a win for me if I get the fisher off. <laughs> Let's go. Third and final battle at you guys. What is this dude's trainer card? Like what what is that? Why you gotta do that? <laughs> Pretty funny though. Here we go. Here we go. What does this fool want? Who are you leading? You need you lean pizza oven? No, the gas show comes out in the front spot. That's fine. Or Noivern buddy's gonna come out here. Or Noivern! I don't want to set up a Tailwind right now. Um, do we go for Air Cutter or a Boom Burst? Boom Burst is very, 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 very nice. I'm gonna go for a Boom Burst. I'm gonna come after you with that Bursting of the Boom. He might go for an Ice Beam. But I think he's gonna go for it. But we are Sash. We should be able to do some work on him, too. Ooh, not really. Here comes the Ice Beam. We're gonna eat that up. That's a, that's a light snack for Noivern. That's light snack for him, see? Light, light snack. Um, do I set up the Tailwind for the rest of the game? Tough play calls from Jeans. Jeans is uh in the dumpster right now. We are going to set up the Tailwind for the rest of the squad. The squad's going to get all this going. Let's go, boys. Squad us up. Tailwind. Mwah. Thank you, Noivern. Thank you for doing your job. Kind of let you down a little early here, but it's fine. But go for the Fisher on this thing. I kind of want to. <laughs> go for the Fisher on this thing. We good. We have that Toxtricity. Um, Toxtricity will not really do too, too much here. So, I'm gonna go for this Fisher here. We're coming for you. We're coming for you. This thing's probably gonna go for a Scald. Probably maybe should have my Grimstone on with this squad. Set up the screens. But it's okay. We're gonna land this Fisher. And then we're sitting pretty. And then we're sitting pretty. Here it is. Here it is. Let's get it. Outspeed into the Fisher. Drop him in that hole. Come on, Extra Joe. I'm counting on you here. I need you. You're gonna withdraw. Who's gonna get Fisher then? Who's getting Fisher? Oh, you dare tell me, cool tonight. You little biscuit. You little biscuit! Does not affect you. It's fine. It's fine. It's all good. We're gonna swap it to our core, or our, uh, our little buddy here. We're gonna swap it to our little buddy here. 
Come in here. Come in, Toxtricity. Need you here, buddy. That Corviknight. Dang it, man. Um, do we predict him going into that Gastrodon? Or do we just go after him? Body Press gonna come out here. Let me eat. Let me have a little snack action. Yep, a little bit of snack. Nice little goldfish there. Okay, um. That's a question. Do I predict him swapping? I'm gonna go for the Boom Burst. Oh, dude, I want to go for the Boom Burst. Hmm. I say he. I say he stays in. I say he stays in, thinking we're gonna swap. No! I'm a. Mm, I'm dummy. I'm dummy. I'm just being easy to read. I'm just being easy to read. I knew I should have went into the Boom Burst. Overdrive does nothing to this little booger. All right, Tamlin does peter out. Mm, we still have speed this thing. Now we go into the Boom Burst. He might actually swap back. That should be the smart play. Boom Burst. Mwah. Do some damage on him, and our third spray does come out here, so we should be able to take out the Gastron next turn. Next turn, he should be going. We're gonna go for a Scald here. We will eat that up fairly well. Nice little snack for us. And he gets a crit. What you mean? What you mean, dog? Boom Burst come out here. Get him. Boom Burst will take out this thing. It will take out this Gastron. I wouldn't mind if he swaps. I still have my Dynamax in my uh, my boy right here. My Exedrill. Coming down, it's coming down here. I say he stays in. I think he's gonna let his Gastron go out. I really do think he's gonna let his Gastron go out here. So yeah, he's gonna let his Gastron go. Bye bye Gastron. Our special attack is raised here, and Toxtricity is a fairly fast Pokemon. He should be able to outspeed the Corviknight, which is beautiful. And I don't think he's gonna go into that Corviknight. I think he's saving that Corviknight. I think you are saving the Corviknight. But it's tough. I need this thing for the Corviknight. I need this for the Corviknight. So if he goes into something else, I gotta swap. Hands down, gotta swap. Oh my god, dude. We lost this battle. Actually, we might not. We gotta outspeed. We have to double outspeed and hopefully none of this is Focus Ash. I gotta die in here. I gotta die in here. The last, it's our last ditch effort. This is our last ditch effort here. Because my drill does nothing. Does nothing here. Maybe we could set up some stout rocks. That's about it. I can see this thing Dynamaxing. I really can. I really can see this thing Dynamaxing. Maybe going for a max air stream. But we could potentially take him out in one shot. With our special attack boost. Mm-hmm. Look at us playing that guitar on our stomach. You're not Sash. You were done for, buddy. We outspeed you. We do outspeed him! We do outspeed him. Can we take him out in one little tap? In one little tip tap tap a My extra drill does nothing. My drill does nothing here. Let's see. Let's get it. Let's go, Tox. Need you here, buddy. We will outspeed. We just have to one tap. Get him! Next lightning. Yay! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Tox Tristy might just just won us that game. But I'm still sad. I don't think we won if we don't get the Fisher off. But we cannot get the Fisher off because it's just down to Corvo. It's just down to Corvo. And we have the electric terrain with plus one on the special attack board. Um, I think we did it. I think that we go three and zero with this team. Rocked out with it pretty, pretty well. Actually, very well. Three and zero is amazing. Three and zero is amazing. I actually recorded it before this, and I went two and one with this. But then the video file got corrupted. And I was like, bruh, and I landed a few fishers. I honestly, all honestly, went two and one. Lost our first match. We landed a fisher in our first match, and then in our third match, and we went. We lost the first one. Won the next two. So we've been rocking out fairly well with this team. Going to a max lightning here. We should be able to outspeed. Did we outspeed this little boy? Come on, Tox. The battle was canceled. We would have outsped and would have won that one. Let's go. That is how it's done. That is how it's done. Beautiful. We crushed it with this team giant. Once again, thank you so much for leaving your team. Guys, if you want me to play your team, leave your rental codes in the comment section down below. Make it easy for me. Tell me if it's singles or doubles team. Leave a list of the Pokemon. And if you have like an EV list, Send it to me. Send it in that same comment. It would seriously go a long way, make things easier for me. But this team was awesome. I really love that extra with that Fisher. I'm kind of mad that we didn't get any Fishers off in the three videos or three battles that we just did. But I'm telling you guys, you gotta trust me here. We recorded with this team. We went two and one, and I pulled off two Fishers with it before the file did get corrupted. It's tough. It's tough. We landed on a Corsola and a Shuckle. They were just trying to stall us out, and we're like, nah, son, we're going for that Fisher. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.